With an engine inspired from BMW's involvement in Formula One, with a red line of 8,500 RPM and a top speed of 204 miles an hour, the BMW E60 M5, produced from 2004 until 2010, is best known for housing the S85 5.0 liter V10 engine, which produced 507 brake wheel horsepower. This car retailed for $100,000 when it was new, and you can get your hands on one now for about $20,000. And to think, any other car with a similar engine would run you more than triple that price. The $20,000 price tag is also a reflection of all the negatives to owning this car. Fuel economy, 13 miles to the gallon on average has a range of about 200 miles. In the S85, the rod bearings are a wearable item, meaning they need to be replaced at 100,000 miles, if not sooner. Also, the throttle body actuators are known for going bad, alongside having issues with the SMG transmission and all your typical BMW electrical issues. So this car has the SMG transmission, so that means it comes with a seven-speed gearbox. The car still does have a clutch, so it drives like it has a clutch. It takes a little getting used to. An example of this would be normal takeoff. You press on the, on the gas pedal, you'll feel the, the catch point engage and the car rolls forward. Or you can blip the throttle and lean into it, and that'll bring the revs up first and then engage the clutch a little harder, so. If you're doing a brake stand, for example, at the drag strip, you floor the gas, let off quickly, and then floor the gas again. They'll spike the revs up and then dump the clutch at a higher RPM. You can skip gears, simply done by just double clicking on the shifter. So I'm in fifth gear, I want to click up to seventh. You just double click and you're in seventh gear. The different shifting variations, you have P1 through 6. 6 is only available when traction control is off. P1 being the slowest, P6 being the fastest. So the transmission also will rev match for you, so if you're dropping down a gear, it'll rev match. The smoothest way to do this is leave your foot where it is on throttle. Let's say your part throttle, right now 3,000 RPM in fifth gear. I want to drop down to third. What I'm going to do is double tap the shifter down twice, leave my foot where it is, it'll rev match, and slide into third gear. This car has the option of the M button. So depending on what you have your M setting set to, you can change them instantly. Just push in the M button, it will change your differential settings, your traction control settings, your power settings, even your seat cushion settings. So your bolsters will go from whatever you have them at while driving normal to whatever they're set at in your M Sport mode. Don't forget that this is a 5 Series. So what does that mean? It means you can fit you plus four other people comfortably. It also has a large trunk that can easily fit a full set of golf clubs. But what about the performance? First to note, this car does come with factory launch control. And this is how it works. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, you can tell me why below. Please subscribe and tell me what you want to see next.